After I left Starfleet, I made it my life's work to reunite the Romulans with their Vulcan brothers. For many years, I lived among them and waged the campaign of peace. Live long. 21 years ago, the star of the Hobus system went supernova and sent a wave of devastation across the quadrant. I promised to save the Romulan homeworld. I failed. The planets Romulus and Remus were destroyed. Countless billions were killed. My home, my friends, my life, all are memories. Time does not stop for one man, and neither does history. The chaos in Romulan space gave the Klingon Empire an opportunity to expand its territory. Today, Jim Pak, the Chancellor of the High Council, traded diplomacy for the tip of a blade. Only in battle, Jim Pak says, is a Klingon truly Klingon. The Federation did its utmost to preserve its alliance with the Klingons, but war was inevitable. Romulans want revenge for their lost world. The Dominion is rebuilding its forces. Now the Borg have reappeared, and the Alpha Quadrant balances on the edge of ruin. The fate of the galaxy rests in your hands. This is the time we have pinpointed in your timeline, sir. This is when you go back and give yourself this. You'll know what to say. You've already heard yourself say it. It doesn't matter if it's exactly right. The time stream will work itself out. Just make sure you give yourself this. It's our best hope for the future of the galaxy. You'll return to this exact point in time as soon as you have done what you need to do. The galaxy still needs you, Admiral. Ready? Welcome to Star Trek Online. Today is graduation day, and you soon will be embarking on your training cruise, where the bulk of the ship is manned by cadets like yourself. This tutorial will introduce you to the basic controls of Star Trek Online, including movement, combat, and interacting with characters and objects. To move, use the W, A, S, and D keys. To look around, hold down the...
Finally, I was beginning to think you forgot what today was. Of course, I was first in line. Oh, before I forget, I think Raski is just ahead. He wanted to thank you for helping him cram for the Astrometrics final. There you are. I wanted to thank you for helping me pass that final, and for all the other times you've helped me. I've always admired you. I hope Starfleet recognizes all you've done to lead our class. What ship did you get? Good luck. Before you report to Lieutenant Farron and get your assignment, you should find Tavral. She wanted to talk to you. She's just up the pathway. Greetings. It was good of you to encourage me to retake the linguistics final. I was willing to accept my original results, but you saw that I was not at my best that day. My score increased by 12.8% on the second attempt, well within my standard norms. Now I am qualified to serve as both a science officer and a communications officer. Morik would like to see you as well. He is ahead of us on the path. Live long and prosper. There you are. Getting excited yet? Once we finish our training cruise, we'll all be full-fledged ensigns. The buzz is, Captain Taggart hasn't named all of his senior staff yet. From what I heard, the advanced phaser training simulation is tripping people up. Good afternoon, cadet. What can I do for you? Yes, I have the complete assignment list here. Name? Let's see. Interesting. Report to Captain Taggart. He's in the office behind me. You're going to have to ask him. Come. Cadet. I did. I've been following your progress here at the Academy, and I must say, I'm impressed. I'm just looking at your final test scores, but I don't see your results for the advanced phaser training program. I want everyone on my senior staff to run that program, and I want to see good results, no exceptions. I did. Like I said, I've been following your career here at the Academy. If you complete that program, I can put you on my bridge. I'll ask my tactical officer to set it up. Another fine cadet like yourself. Her scores were almost as good as yours, but her record has a few... blemishes. Still, I'm sure Cadet Flores will settle down and become a fine officer someday. I'll tell Flores to meet you out in the quad. 
Talk to her to start the phaser training, and I'll see you when you're finished. You're dismissed, cadet. I got the tactical officer spot. Just what I wanted. Where'd you end up? You never did that? I thought you were Miss Extra Credit. Everyone knows that Captain Taggart expects all his top people to pass that program. Don't worry, you'll do fine. Come on, I'll take you to the holodeck and set it up. Seems most of our class ended up on Captain Taggart's ship. Have you seen the whales in San Francisco Bay? I never seem to spot them. I sometimes forget that Boothby is a hologram. He seems like such a fixture here at Starfleet Academy. Last one of the console buys the first round tonight! Setting up the training program now. I hope Holodeck 2 is your lucky Holodeck. Shoot stuff, don't die. Pretty basic, really. It's standard stuff. The program runs a variation on Mako assault training. The last time I tried to give someone a little help, I ended up on academic probation for the rest of the year. I'm not saying I haven't learned a few tricks since then, though. Phasers are in the lockers by the Holodecks. You can grab one there.
You are now a Delta recruit. You have a unique trait that gives bonus dilithium ore to you and your teammates. As a Delta recruit, you will be able to earn many additional rewards as you complete later missions. Targeting. Lesson 1 of 6. Well done, cadets. You're not gonna break the Academy record, but your score was more than satisfactory. Absolutely, I have a new first officer. Congratulations. Yes, you should be proud of your accomplishments here, cadet. You have a promising career ahead of you in Starfleet. First officer, way to go. Just a little jealous, I'll admit. <laughs> At least now you'll get to boss us all around like you've always wanted. Don't let it go to your head, buddy. You'll do great. <gasps> but we should head up to the shuttle bay. Everyone else is waiting there for the ceremonial send-off toast. Now hear this. All cadets report to Shuttle Bay to prepare for departure. Okay, all of the senior staff is waiting by the bar. I'm sure everyone's a bit nervous, this being our first real assignment and all. So, I'm expecting an inspiring speech out of you. Something heartwarming. Make Tavrell cry. This mission could just determine the rest of our careers. No pressure. I'll meet you over there.
cadets, please board your shuttles. Ready to head to the ship. I can't believe we're finally doing this. USS Vesta, first of her class. She's got subsystem targeting, a crew of 750, auxiliary phaser cannons, and even a quantum field focus controller. I can't wait to captain one someday. But here's our ship. Miranda class, 200 crew, two forward weapon mounts, one aft. Average speed, warp, five point nothing. She is a tough little ship, though. I think I like her. We're the final shuttle to arrive. We need to get to the bridge. I'm going to check in and then head for the bridge. See you there. Name and position? I have your record right here, sir. Welcome to the ship. Captain Taggart is waiting for you on the bridge. Use the turbo lift behind me. It will take you directly there. Welcome to the bridge, number one. Early in my career, I served with a captain who called his first officer that. I always liked it. As my number one, I expect you to ensure my orders are carried out, and to advise me on the best course of action in any situation. 
But first, we need to get out of dry dock, get clearance from control, and close the shuttle bay doors, then disable the tractor moorings. Earth traffic control has cleared us to depart, sir. Very good, number one. Shuttle bay doors are closed, sir. Very good, number one. Potter, take us out. One quarter impulse. Just checking to see if you were paying attention, number one. Potter, take us out. Maximum thrusters. from dry dock, Captain. Good. Let's start with something easy. Set course for Vulcan. Course lead in, sir. Engage. Captain. I am picking up a distress call from the SS Breakeven. Audio only. Let's hear it, Tavrel. This is the SS Breakeven. Our warp core is failing, and we are in need of assistance. Let them know we're on our way. Potter, lay in a rendezvous course. Altering course, sir. ETA three minutes. Transporter room, prepare to beam over survivors. Sir, sentence can't read anything in the vicinity of the Breakeven. Communications are out as well. Keep trying to hail them, Tavrel. Number one, let's discuss the situation. You heard the distress call, number one. What do you think we should do? Absolutely not. We're the closest ship to the break-even, so it's our duty to assist. Good. What do you advise? That's a little much, wouldn't you say? There's no justification to go in. Guns, I agree. Flores? I'm getting some weird readings. I can't get a solid lock. There may be interference. Trying to compensate. I think I have it. This is a lot different than the training scenarios. Beaming them over now. Klingons! This vessel is now property of Captain Kadak of the IKS Chart. Transporter room, and Klingon transporter signatures are showing up all over the ship. You have the command codes to unlock an armory near your position. We still have weapons. I'll do what I can.
Number one, we're doing our best to cripple this Klingon Marauder, but I... send a boarding party at any time. I need you back on the bridge. Go see to the bridge. We will secure this area. Incoming transmission from the This is Captain Kayak of the IKS Chalk. You may have forced my boarding parties off your decks, but our ship remains cloaked. You have no hope of fighting us or defeating us. Perhaps your captain will change your mind. Order your crew to surrender, Captain, or I will blow them out of the sky. It's your choice, Captain. Do you want these children to die? Very well. Number one. You are now the captain of the ship. Your orders... Your orders are to lock onto my combat and fire! Pegatosa! Make me proud. We have target lock, Captain. signal. What now? We... We survived. But the captain... Captain Taggart knew what would happen. And he gave the order anyway. 
ultimate sacrifice. One that we all might be called to make someday. He trusted... All decks reporting in, sir. We took some casualties, and sick bay is full. I have been trying to get a distress call out, Captain. She's still cloaked, but I think she took some real damage. Still running diagnostics, sir. Hailing the break-even now, Captain. Oh, um, hello, Starfleet. No hard feelings, right? And, um, because Starfleet's always ready to help and all, uh, could you help me repair my ship? Helm, full stop. I've stopped us this time, sir, but from now on, you'll be responsible for adjusting the speed of the Looks ship. Looks like she just needs three or four warp induction coils. We have plenty of those to spare. Thanks! We'd help you if we could, but I just don't see any profit in that, you know? Well, looks like we're on our own. At least they said thank you, I guess. About that cloaked ship full of Klingons?
Almost done, Captain. Level 2 diagnostics shows that almost all of the plasma injectors are damaged beyond repair. Not enough. Plasma injectors are made to withstand quite a beating, but I think the Klingons specifically sabotaged them when they boarded us. We're not the first ship the Klingons have hit here. Bingo! I found some suitable debris in the boneyard nearby. Destroy three of those nacelles, and we should get the parts we need. Taking through scraps left behind. Yeah, that guy's getting annoying. These plasma injectors will do the trick, sir. Gorgeous technology. Type R, if I had to guess. You have your problems, I have mine. Zarva's dealing with the Warp Corp, but until she's done, we're still stranded out here with no way to call for help. Of course we can. We're the class of 2409. Long-range communications are operational, sir. Shall I send the distress signal? That Klingon ship took some real damage. Understood. I'd rather not die to Klingons on my first day. I'll send the source of the plasma signature to navigation. It it's pretty far out, sir. We should use the ship's full impulse power to reach it. This will temporarily take power from other systems, but vastly improve our speed. Once we drop out of full impulse, the power will return to other systems. I can make your death swift! Your ship is outfitted with phaser b- This is the f- Firing at a- Federation cap-
Incoming transmission, sir. It is... This is Captain Volok. A Klingon captain would have to be very bold to travel this far into Federation territory. Where is Captain Taggart? And did you follow his orders? So, I take it you are in command now. Very well. We will escort your ship to Earth space dock. And if he reveals his position, he will be dealt with accordingly. Until then, you are to set a course for our position. Renown out. escort you back to Earth's
We're here, Captain. The USS Kittimer is dead ahead, and the Renown is beside us. Our orders are to make contact with the Kittimer and find out why they've not responded to our hails. Yes, sir. I will require approximately 15 seconds to make... Ah, Captain Volog. Captain Taggart? What are you both doing here? Always good to follow the orders of your superior officers. These cadets were the unfortunate victims of a Klingon ambush. I'm troubled by the anomalies in this system. With all three ships collecting data, we should be able to complete this quickly and... <laughs> You're quite confident for a cadet. You remind me of... indicate traces of gamma radiation, but there's something off in the readings. Kinemer here. Are you seeing the same gamma radiation levels that we are? I My chief science officer, Commander Davis, had suggested the same thing. But it seems you're already aware of it. Good work. We'll perform a reverse tachy on pulse wave and see if that solves the issue. Report your findings once your final scan is complete. Deflector dish is realigned for reverse tachy on pulse wave, sir. Picking up a transwarp signature. It's right on top of us! The board! the USS Kittimer. I am requesting assistance from any Federation vessel in range. I've lost contact with the bridge. I am unable to contact Commander Davis for new instructions. The Kittimer is being overwhelmed by Borg boarding parties. These Borg are different than the ones in my history records. They seem disconnected somehow. They're strange, but still quite dangerous. I am an emergency medical hologram, not a miracle worker. The Borg were brutally efficient on the Kittimer. I will send teams to aid the Kittimer. You will have to finish the scans. I have linked the iota point to your map. Scan there while we see to the Kittimer.
Please transmit the data so we may begin our analysis. We have your data and our science team is analyzing it now. Our tactical teams have eliminated the Borg boarding parties on the Kittimer. Why do you ask? There is an 88.47% chance that you will need my help. I have 75 million gigaquads of computer memory and an extensive library of files on military tactics and command strategies. I believe I can spare a few bits of processing power for you. Borg transwarp signatures detected. Prepare your ship for combat. They're firing. I need help. As we see it. The Kittimer was badly damaged, and there are many casualties. You must go to the Vega colony and warn them that the Borg are coming. The Renown is better equipped to hold off further Borg attacks and assist. It is imperative that you warn the colony at Vega of the impending attack. We will do what we can to hold off the Borg here in Vega. We have to make our way to Vega as soon as we can, Captain. I... Shields up, red alert! <laughs> 